Greetings, I'm Demonac, and it's Hearthstone time. Alright. Check out. I've actually beaten most of the classes, some of which just due to, like, luck on the final bosses and stuff like that. Like, the second two, the, the seventh, the second last boss, like, the seventh and the eighth boss, they make a big difference. I forget who I just played recently. Uh, let's try Rogue again, I guess. I don't know. Only four classes left to win with, but it's not necessarily going to be easy. Except the first fight, that's necessarily going to be easy. It's a rat! Rat. Finish! Not starting hand material. Deadly poison can kill a lot of rat. Okay. Make more rats. Sinister Strike. Normally, piece of crap. Against a 10 hit point opponent, why not? Oh no! Whatever shall we do? Uh, this would give me a death rattle if he doesn't die. So let's let's try with him. This guy's guaranteed to live long enough to attack, but whatever. Fine. Dink. No good death rattle for me. I can kill you pretty rapidly with just this. So let's do that. Uh, I made a mistake. For some brain dead reason, I thought I could also play the snake when I saw it, but okay, whatever. So that's a problem. That thing is actually threatening. So, I may have screwed myself, because I probably can't finish him in time. I could lose to the rat, and that would be awesome. Uh, nope. I barely pulled it off. I almost incompetently lost to the rat. That is how you lose to the rat, apparently. Mostly miscounting mana. I should have gotten out one more minion first, before actually putting the, bla the, uh, the poison out there. But Okay, what do we got? Double battle cries, backpack, scepter of summoning. Uh, this doesn't trigger off combo, so currently it does nothing. I mean, I want to try this one to be more original, but if I take this, this also currently does nothing for me, but this lets me choose fat things and maybe win. I really want to win, so I think I'm going to go with this, but this could totally screw me. The backpacks is very straightforward, but it's not as crazy a power. Double battle cries. It's, I think it's easier to get a bunch of random fat stuff than it is to get good battle cry stuff that also benefits from doubling. So I'm going to take this. You know, I've done it before. Okay. Cthulhu. Five mana Cthulhu is pretty good. This is one of my favorite buffer guys to have with Cthulhu in this format, so it's pretty good. Caverns Below sh with Shadow Step and Vanish, so you can try and go for that strategy. That's kind of tricky. I think the obvious thing to take is Cthulhu here. My Cthulhu's only 5 mana, and I got the uh, good guy to help me stay alive longer. And a cheap Cthulhu buffing minion. Now, of course... If I have Cthulhu, then maybe the double battle prize would be the thing to go, and I'm not going to get that chance next time. I don't know. I didn't know it was going to be Cthulhu. That's the, the, the difference is I could have taken any fat stuff. I, would have ho I was hoping for more copies of fat minions, like a pack with three fat things, but do what I can. You're too slow. Um, I'd rather draw you later. I'd rather try and get some minions early on, even though I probably won't have be able to play anything. I probably should have kept it just because of one mana. Okay, that's a slow hand. On the other hand, it probably doesn't take a whole lot of Cthulhu to win this match. But yeah, apparently I should have kept the Sinister Strike. Oh well. Welp. Welp is, of course, big Welp. Welp is going to kill this thing, so we're going to play this instead. Does double duty, because now Cthulhu is going to do 8 damage, be an 8-8. Eight, eight. Yeah, whatever. You do that. Okay. So I could make the blade poison it and kill that thing. Doesn't accomplish that much. 
Uh, I'm going to put him out. So you can just kill him. But he's, you're going to keep using your hero power? That's awesome. I mean, this is useless now, but... I like when you just keep using your hero power instead of playing minions. Deal three damage to each hero. I think that may be to my advantage for once. I'd like to play him. I'm not going to get any death rattles. I don't have any other death rattles, I don't think. I can't backstab that guy. No, let's let's do this. It's fine. Because... He might waste his time debuffing them, which would be fantastic. Okay, that's not fantastic. Might have to assassinate that guy. He probably has much bigger things in his deck, but I'm going to kill him really fast if I assassinate that guy. Oh, wait. Cthune. I don't need to do that. I can just Cthune. As long as Cthune... Okay, just to maximize our revenue here, we're going to backstab that guy, because I can't backstab him afterwards. We want to make sure he dies. If I have to use this guy to finish him, that's fine. Nope. Okay. Yeah, give minus one attack to one of my guys now. Yeah, that's pretty hurtful, but way too late. I can vanish Cthulhu again. But no, we're just going to stab you. Okay. So we either want to get more Cthulhu's or just more huge fat stuff. Either one kind of works. I don't want a Cthulhu pack that doesn't include an actual Cthulhu, though. Nothing fat at all. Bite me. So we got Christian Adventure. So would have benefited a little bit from the battle cries. Shadow Step Oracle. This would have been a good pack for the other thing. For the caves. Hallucination. Burgle. Peddler. So just get some cards. Theory of Peddler is not bad. He's at least fat. Two random class cards. Hallucinate. I don't know. Shadow Step could work with Cthulhu. Cold Light Oracle I don't like, though. Death Lord could be suicidal. And this pack is also not great. I don't have the spell damage to make this good. He's not great with those stuff. I think we're just taking this pack, because a bunch of random cards is better than the crap in there. So, one pack with no fatness to benefit from the Scepter. See how many more crappy, non-fat sets I get. I just need some fat things. I just need some fat. Um, okay, how... I can't mouse over and see how big my deck is, which is annoying. I get normally there's no need for it, but... Do I keep starting hand Cthulhu... I think the answer is no. I think the decks are still small enough that I don't keep starting Hand Cthulhu. I'm most likely to get it back later. Might regret it, but it really doesn't help for a while. Yeah, only 13 cards left in a deck. So, there's a high chance of drawing Cthulhu again. In later rounds, unless I get more Cthulhu's, it's going to be much more worthwhile to keep the Cthulhu. But, let's see. Let's just freeze a minion, right? Yeah, okay. I want to save the ability to backstab him. I got this again. Okay, well, let's play this guy. And then we're going to keep that, kill that to try and keep my guy alive. And hopefully I can actually get the copy of the death rattle this time. Okay. That's good, too, but... Uh, we're going to copy the death rattle... I like the idea of being able to backstab and use that to trigger him. But next turn I can play this and trigger him. I think I'm just going to backstab that guy and go for the damage. He didn't freeze any of my minions this turn. I've got beatings, even though I would have gotten a card from him. I should get it eventually. You spent your whole turn playing that. That's not going to do you very well. That's good for triggering him, so we're just going to... Um, I mean, if I do this stuff first, if I get my guys killed, I get make the cards cheaper with the Ethereal Peddler, but I'd rather just kill you. Uh, let's hallucinate and see what I get. Two less for secret you've played. Two damage random and in your freeze it. Babbling book works for me. Let's, let's babble. I 
and we're I think we're just gonna murder this guy completely. He can kill some stuff with the turtle, but I'll probably get more cards from it. In the meantime, he's almost dead. This is also going back into a small deck. The longer I wait, the smaller the deck. Okay, no, no. Okay, that reduces my damage, but it gives me more stuff. Okay, freezing him, kind of annoying. I mean, that's your whole thing, so might as well. Uh, now. Make cards go cheaper. Uh, Artificer, even though it means I'm going to get less armor from the spell. And we're going to spell you because you're just about dead. You can't freeze everyone. And now there's a six damage version of that in my deck. Fireball was annoying. Okay. Oh, look at that. You're dead. Glory to Cthulhu. Yeah. So. That went fine. Now, come on, fat cards. Okay, first off, that's a fat card. Fill your board with legendary minions. Fully heal your hero. That's pretty powerful. Embers of Ragnaros, we know, is a great winning card. I'd like to avoid it because I've won with it multiple times, and we want to make it more interesting. If I was just purely 100% trying to win, I would just take that. In the Mask of Memories, you choose a minion in play. Minions in your hand become copies of it. Ah, that's really interesting, but I don't think it's a good idea for me. Should we take the Wish? Fill your board with legendary minions. It's just so slow, though. And this isn't reduced to five like everything else. As it fully heals your hero in the later matches, that's like that could be thirty, sixty health. God damn! I don't have any way to make spells cheaper. Do I just cave in and take the one that's winning more? This is just because it costs ten. It's going to come up so seldom. I don't think it's actually. Man, this is boring but effective. Whatever. I do want to win. I don't want to make this series forever. Nothing. Everything sucks. God damn it. We got Shadow Step and Garbage. Which again would have been okay for Crystal Cave deck. Gang Up. Which is okay for Crystal Cave deck. Brand Bronze Beard. That is helpful to me. Cold Light Oracle, I don't like, but whatever. The Shuriken, the Jade Swarmers. If, I mean, if this was like three Shuriken, it would be tempting, but I'm not going to have enough Jade to care. I guess we'll take the pack that has Brand Bronze Beard. Maybe I can gang something up, but it's kind of dubious. Mostly it's going to thin out my deck, because whatever I gang up is probably earlier in the game. It's probably not that fat. So, not getting good staff value. It's giving me shitty, shitty packs for the staff. Even the Cthulhu pack I got was barely serviceable. If I got more Cthulhu oh, yeah. packs, then okay, but I'm not getting them. So, he, he's a super battle cry guy. I'm going to keep Cthulhu, pitch those. Because again, next turn you get bigger, I want to guarantee that I get Cthulhu, because he has a 5 mana play, he's pretty awesome. Is this both players' battle cries? All battle cries trigger twice. Okay. And I've got Brand. Okay. I don't think that I don't think that stacks. I don't think that's gonna make it double or I mean triple or quad. But this is good. I mean you can make an argument maybe I should have waited and put tried to get Brand and then do that, but I don't think it's gonna work better. Whoa, you are taking an insane risk there, buddy. What the crap? So I'm gonna Burgle or Bran? Save Bran for when I'm gonna do something. I'm not sure he's gonna make a difference in this matchup though. Let's maybe Burgle some car. It's just for my opponent's class. It's not from their deck. I'm not sure that's gonna help that much. I think maybe just play Bran.
Okay, so you made my hero power unusable during a turn when I was actually probably going to use my hero power. That is mildly annoying. Death battle, we don't care. Let's burgle up. Guards. Crush and sudden genesis. Summon copies of your damaged minions. I suspect we might make use of that, but Bran, pretty doomed. Lover Baron, potentially threatening in his deck, I guess, but not really that exciting. Whoa, I could just... That's that's pretty victory-inducing. Let's, let's just do this now, which is already almost game. Maybe doubling my battle cry is not the smartest. Jinzo approves. Jinzo is going to be dead. Dumbass Jinzo. In 10 armor, reduce the cost of minions in your opponent's hand by 2. Uh, I'd say that's unwise, but okay. I mean... Could banish Cthulhu and play it next turn, but really, you're, you're, you're pretty super dead. Let's, let's not screw around too much. Die. The wish is fun and all, but how many games are going to go long enough for the wish? And then in that last game, I might not draw it because your deck is big by that point. And, like, it just, there's so many things where it's not great. So this is Cthune Pack with no Cthune. That sucks, although these guys are pretty awesome. And they would benefit if I got a double battle cry thing later. Razor Petal Volley would be great with spell damage, which I don't have and probably don't plan on taking. Swashburger, Burgle, and Shaku. I only have one thing that benefits from those stolen cards. I mean, stealing cards is useful in its own, but it's not really that great. They're making my deck thicker and not in a good way. I guess we're going to take more Cthune, because those Disciples of Cthune are pretty good. Okay. He's getting a regular Trog when I cast a spell. That's not that big a deal. I mean, it's sort of to be avoided, but... I'm not super worried. Okay, that's uh, pretty starting handy. I'll just keep it. Like, maybe I should pitch Brand and try and get Cthulhu, but whatever. One card in my deck that thing affects. Like, I'm pissed off that I keep not getting card packs of big things. Even, like, big common minions would be serviceable, but... That's right. He's going to penalize me for casting spells. Okay, annoying. Give me Snow Fury Giant. Which I reduced to 5 cost, which is pretty good. Not likely to overload any mana, but still decent. I should probably save him. I don't have that many battle cries, so I'm just going to play the Raptor. I have, like, one battle cry, basically. It's Mana Storm, so my spell's free for this turn. Might even be worth it, honestly. He's only going to get, a, like, a 1-3 out of it. I should probably save this for something more important later, though. And you know what? I think the pace might... A I think mine might actually benefit from killing that. This thing's going to get axed next turn anyway. Let's do it. Lightning storm, bad. There go all my guys. At least he locked his mana. Didn't have enough mana for an unlock guy. That probably not as worthwhile as, I don't know, this. Or actually this, he would make that cheaper. Will he? Will it work? Yes, it will. Awesome. Okay, let's do that. I don't think he'd have any kind of assassinate things, but who knows. Uh, I'm going to kill that guy for board control. I don't think I'd be desperate enough to hallucinate here, but... Oh, that sucks. Oh, that sucks so hard. That is also not ideal. I used my assassinate already. Damn it. Yeah, wow, not a, not a super big fan of this turn of events. So if I do this, he gets a 1-3. 
I get to discover a card from his class. Let's see if this will help me out. So I got a 3-3 to kill his tunnel frog. It's fine. Earthshock, Icebreaker. I'm not going to have a way to freeze guys, so that's useless to me. Fork Lightning is Overload, which is not great. I guess Earthshock might come in handy later. Hey, All right. Play the snake. It's proactive minion control. I'll just keep killing those guys before I buff them. It's fine. Hey, lights out. I don't really want to poison my weapon right now, but this is good. So twelve cards in there to get Cthulhu. That guy's, uh, he's super threatening. So we're going to want to poison him. Buffoon. And beat your face in. Yeah, don't need to do the spell thing. It's going fine. There better be some a pack with some high cost, high quality minions next turn. Pissed off. Successful knowledge, that's not great. Ow. More Cthulhu. And more damage to you. That's really not helping your mission, dude. Uh, you know what? That's going to draw Cthulhu faster, so... As much as I hate this thing, we'll go for it. Those not very helpful against him, though. Uh, I think we're just going to do a bunch of damage. Uh, no, you know what? I can actually kill him, so nuts to you. All your drugs are meaningless. A little bit harder to justify casting those spells when he's getting a 3-5 frog every time, but those guys, okay. Stupid bosses. I like it better when I'm the dungeon master. Well, anyway, we'll see how much farther I can get next time. And don't forget to subscribe to Demonac Games for more Hearthstone Arena and other gaming videos.